today I've got my grocery haul. I went to several stores and um, yeah, I got some good deals, uh, but it was still a little pricey. We'll have to talk about that as as we go along, but um, yeah, eggs, y'all, eggs, ridiculous, right? But um, yeah, let me show you what I got. I went to several stores and it's all back here. This is everything I got this morning. Um, over here, I went to Sam's and got a stock-up haul. I, I try to do a good stock-up haul at Sam's once a month, so these are the items that I got today at Sam's. Um, I went ahead and got one of the car balance, whoops, one of the car balance tortillas. These are six, well, good grief, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. These are six sixty-seven, and Scoot this over, and then I got these uh, tomatoes on the vine, and these are four forty-eight. And y'all, this is the best price I found on eggs. I went to Walmart, and I used to buy the box of sixty eggs at Walmart. It used to be four dollars and seventy-five cents. Y'all, it's over fifteen dollars now. That's more than triple the price. This is the and and it's Sam's. I'm like looking at the eggs and. For some reason, these um, Eggland's Best Eggs were the cheapest that they had at Sam's. So, these were $3.88. And I needed some iceberg lettuce. So, there's two heads in this little bag of iceberg lettuce. And it's $2.38. I needed some more of the olive oil spray here. And this is $4.44. The bag of bacon this has not changed in price it is big bag already cooked 20 ounces crumbled bacon and it's eight dollars and 88 cents and then i i needed to stock back up on my tilapia and i checked all the prices walmart had a four pound bag and it was almost twenty dollars and i did look up because my sam's club is right next door to my walmart so i did look it up and it was definitely cheaper for me to wait and get the members mark tilapia at sam's club this is twelve dollars and ninety eight cents and then the last thing i got was um two of these little sweet peppers and they are 548 each so i got two of those my daughter enjoys these and i've got a got a recipe plan planned coming up for that so to what I spent at Sam's this morning on all of this was fifty eight dollars and eighty seven cents now let's move over here okay I did go to the little butcher shop I, I went I was going after the ground beef y'all so good okay we'll get to that in a minute um, I got my daughter two of the stuffed potatoes I got her the ham and cheddar and they're $6.99 for a package and they had the red rind hoop cheese and I found I, found, I had I had a recipe and I wanted to try it and I thought that it would be good with this so I got this little package for $2.87 and this little package for five dollars they sell this by the pound but y'all when I was little my my papa used to take me up the road and we'd go and they cut off a hunk of this red rind cheese and we'd take it home it's so good it's so good you just don't find this everywhere but they have it at the little butcher shop but my main reason this morning was uh to go was going for the ground beef the i had to wait for them to grind it this was ground while i waited um they they i got there when it opened and they didn't have any ready so i waited for a few minutes but y'all the ground beef is only two fifty nine dollars a pound. This is almost four pounds for ten ten, And I got another package. This one is, what, a little over three and a half for nine thirty. But look how pretty this meat is. They just ground it, I mean, like an hour ago. I mean, they just ground it this morning. So that's, that's what I got at Little Butcher Shop. And here's my Little Butcher Shop receipt. And it was before tax thirty four twenty six, so I paid thirty six sixty six with tax. Everything else here is Walmart. Now, I'm going to do my best with everything at Walmart. But y'all, look at this. Look at this receipt. I hate it when I get a receipt like this. You can't read anything on it. Look at that. It, you you. It look. I hate it. It needs it needs new needs new ink. 
but I will do my best. Um, so I got, I was running a little low on plastic utensils, so I got the, I got a, a 48 box of the white forks and a 48 box of the white spoons, and these are 277 each. I got the Great Value Shells and Cheese. This was a dollar something, dollar forty-eight each. I got two of those. This was a little bit pricey, but they did have the Sam's Choice Keto Friendly Hamburger Buns. Okay, this was not bad, not as bad as I thought. Three ninety-eight for that. So okay, I moved that. They had their Great Value brand Ranch Tuna back in stock. These little envelopes. I got eight of them. They're ninety-two cents each. And then my daughter had requested these little uh, pasta sides. So the Knorr pasta sides are $1.26 each. And I got two of this, two of the cheddar broccoli, two of the chicken, and two of the chicken and broccoli. But then I saw that the pasta roni, these were only a dollar. So I went ahead and got her four different different kinds of that. I got a four cheese, Parmesan cheese, butter and garlic, and what's that? Oops. Uh garlic and olive oil so I got her that and then I got a package uh, just a package of radishes and this was 187 for the bag yeah no 178 for the bag and then I got a bunch of frozen vegetables so I got four of the broccoli florets all these little bags well I'm okay the broccoli is a dollar a bag. I got the California style vegetable mix. That's a dollar a bag. I got two of the cauliflower, dollar a bag. But this is more because it, well, it's a bigger bag. So these are two thirty-three for the pepper and onion mix. So I got that, and then I got we needed some sunscreen, so we got this bottle of sunscreen. The bottle of sunscreen was $6.98. Oh, and I did miss this. I did find some Markdown meat, which I, which I do like this. I do like the cubed pork steaks. So this package was $5.38. This one was $5.43. And then I found this, this taco seasoned ground turkey. It was a it's one pound of meat, and it was $2.10. So I, I just got one. I thought we'd just try it and see what we thought. But um, that's all the groceries, but it's not all I bought because I did buy this. This comes out of a totally different budget. This is um, Mobile One oil for my car. I'm gonna, and here's my filter for my car. So the oil is $26.47, the filter is $10.97, and then I got this for the uh, yard trimmer. So, because we ran out of fuel for that, so you got to have this to mix with the gas. So that was one, one ninety something. No, one seventy six for that. So these three items here totaled about forty two dollars. So that comes out of the maintenance, the like car and household maintenance kind of thing. But the rest of this came out of my household budget, and so at Walmart, uh, it was all of oh. Y'all, I didn't even, <laughs> I did forget the, the Great Value brand, Shells and Cheese. How much was this? It was a dollar something, dollar forty-eight. Yep, dollar forty-eight for that. So, um, so that right there is everything I got at Walmart. So the grocery portion of this at Walmart was seventy-seven twenty-seven. So that's for all that food right there. Um, that's a lot of money for not, you know, I mean, I, I, I didn't get a whole lot. I, at Walmart, I didn't get, I just got these, this little bit of meat. And the rest of that is this. Ridiculous, right? Okay, let's take a look at what we spent this weekend. So, uh, not included here is my Dollar General, but I still spent the money. So, total today at Dollar General was fourteen twenty six. Sam's Club was fifteen. Uh, Walmart was $77.27 and the Little Butcher Shop was $36.66 so the total with all this together was $187.06 and because it was a stock up weekend I had $200 in my budget so the I've got left over for this weekend 
94. So, um, didn't do too bad because, you know, this was a stock up, bit of a stock up this weekend. Now, let's take a look at the menu plan for, for this weekend. Uh, or, well, for this week, I actually might, I don't know, there's not a whole lot left in the month of May. So, um, well, y'all, that beef looks so good. Let's do cheeseburgers for tonight. So, um, and I don't know, it may rain, it may not. If, if it doesn't rain, I might do them on the grill. If it does rain, then I can do them in the kitchen. But we're just going to do cheeseburgers for tonight. And I've got, over here on Sunday, I've got a pork loin in the uh, freezer. So I'm going to do a slow cooker. Pork loin roast. I'll put that down. Alright. Oops. <laughs> I skipped all the way down, y'all. That's not even right. It goes here. <laughs> oh, no, that's that's next Sunday, not this Sunday. So we're gonna put that uh over here. Alright. And, um, I think I'm going to use, let's see, over here on Wednesday, I'm, I want to skip over here to Wednesday. I don't want to have pork too close together, but I got those marked down, uh, tenderized pork, uh, chops or whatever they are. I'm going to put that here. So we're going to put, uh, velvet pork, velvet pork chops. And we'll have that there. And... Um, here, let's try that taco meat. Um, tacos. And taco salad. Tacos for my daughter. Taco salad for me. Um, and then we'll go over here. We'll do some, let's see, I stocked back up on fish. So we'll have some tilapia. That'll be good. And then I've got, now i got to figure out what I want for Thursday. Um, I've got some cubed ham in the refrigerator, so let's do a crustless quiche with that. Alright. And then, um, then, then that takes us into Memorial Day weekend. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Well, I guess I'll save that for I guess I'll save that for next week because that that basically plans out the rest of this this whole next week. So I'll save Memorial Day weekend for next week. Okay. Well, there's my grocery haul for this week. My menu plan, keto friendly menu plan for this week. I am actually off work this week. I had a uh, had to take a vacation week, and so I don't have to go to work. So, um, I've got lots of projects around the house I'm planning on getting done, and I will probably bring you along with most of them. But, um, yeah, that's it for this grocery haul for this week and my menu plan, and I will see y'all later. Bye.